Hello, the internet. My name is Andrew Samford. I'm a media composer who lives and works in New South Wales, Australia, as you can probably tell from my accent. Now, recently I saw a video by the fantastic channel Venus Theory uh, on using multiple instances of the synthesizer Archeria Pigments and the sequencer within to output a polyphonic sequence to another instrument. It's a really fantastic video. I highly recommend you check it out. I've left it in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. Now, the problem that I ran into is I am a Logic user and Logic, of course, does not use VST. It uses audio units which don't output MIDI. So there's a bit of a roadblock there. Uh, I managed to find a workaround using a third-party plugin called Meta Plugin from a company called DDMF, which I highly recommend all Logic users go out and buy right now. It is fantastic. It's a plugin host, lets you load any VSTs that you want, any audio units. You can basically load anything over sample. You can use it as an instrument. You can use it as an effects plugin. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Just go and buy it. It's really wonderful. So basically, I uploaded my work around just an audio track and a little screenshot. And a lot of people asked me to make a tutorial. Uh, this is my first tutorial. So please let me know how I go in the comments down below. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but that said, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Logic X. We're in a new project file and I'm gonna open a software instrument. Here we go, I've installed Better Plugin. So what I'm gonna do is go to my instrument track, just down here, and I've got it open, but you will go to Audio Unit Instruments, DDMF, Meta Plugin Synth, and load it in stereo. So that's gonna bring up a window that looks something like this. Now in Meta Plugin, uh, it's not gonna do anything until you have scanned for instruments. Uh, I've already done it, but I've got a few new ones to load in. So what you wanna do is go down to options and then scan for new or updated audio unit plugins. Click that, it's gonna have a think about it. So it's, uh, it's scanning through some of my updated plugins now. Once that happens, you'll see a big list off to the left over here uh, of all of your plugins, which you can now load into Meta Plugin. So we've got the MIDI input up the top, MIDI output down the bottom, which is useless to us because we are obviously running this as an audio unit. So who cares, get that out of here. Then we've got our audio output. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is right click and this will bring up all of your plugins, go to Arturia Pigments and load it in. So this will have a think for a second. And then we have a new node, which is the pigments node. So we wanna connect our MIDI input to pigments. Then we want to connect something to pigments. So we wanna have an output sound. Uh, I like marimbas uh, and Spitfire Audio's media toolkit has a fantastic marimba in it. So I'm gonna load that up now. Go in marimba and let's just go a clean marimba. And this works in the same way. So you just double click on one of the nodes and that's gonna open up the plugin for you. So here we go, fantastic. Connect the MIDI from Pigments up to the Originals Media Toolkit and then send that through to the first two channels on your audio output. So this should now be playing a marimba when I play on my keyboard. And it's just sending the, the MIDI from Pigments through to the Originals Media Toolkit uh, because I don't have a sequencer on and I don't have the output of Pigments yet. So let's double click Pigments and have a look at what's there. So here we are in Pigments. I'm gonna turn off the engine. I'm gonna turn off the filter to try and save a little bit of CPU. Uh, pigments can be a bit of a CPU hog sometimes. And then I'm going to move over to the Sequencer tab over here. Now, once I turn on the arpeggiator, because I have my MIDI running from the input through pigments, through the output into the media toolkit, now that I have this turned on, when I play notes on my keyboard, it should now run through the sequencer. Let's see how we go. So fantastic, you can see that that's playing through perfectly now. So what I'm gonna do is, and I would recommend going to Venus Theory's uh, video for the minutia of this. I'm gonna set up a little quick patch. So now when I play a note, we should be getting a sequence from Archeria Pigments. Fantastic, this is a great 
great little sequence that's come out. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Sounds great on the marimba. So now let's duplicate what we've done here. And I like to duplicate this filter. There we go. And we will send the MIDI input into this next pigments and just do the same thing. Let's go again. There we go. Duplicate filter. Pigments. So now I've got three instances of pigments. They should all be identical. But now the sequences, let's make it a minor chord. So let's change the first note to D sharp and the first note of this one to a G. So now each of these instances of pigments should be doing its own little random sequence when I press a single note on my keyboard. Let's go with a C. The MIDI of which is all running out to the Originals Media Toolkit marimba. So this is where this gets fun with logic. So let's add a MIDI effects. Let's add a transposer to this. So here we go, we've got a transposer. Great, and we can make this just a, let's make this a C minor scale. Great, so this is only gonna play notes on the C natural minor. Now, what I like to do to add a hint of randomness to it. So let's go with a modulator. So we've got a modulator, let's bring up our modulator, let's bring up our transposer, and let's make this sort of a bit of, uh, a bit of randomness here. Now, if I set the output, the two on my output here, to learn plugin parameter, and then click on the transpose, that's gonna be randomly modulating the pitch. Now, I don't quite want it to be going at this speed, so let's go every two bars, we're gonna get a different note. And let's as well, just quickly turn it onto a sine wave so we can tune it in. There we go. So now, if I put this onto noise, every two bars, it's giving me a random note on that C natural minor scale. So if I go in and create MIDI region, and this can just be a, let's go with a C3, draw that in. There we go. So now we've just got this repeating note and every bar, every two bars, which I've got the loop set to, it should go to a different note. So let's see how we go. So as you can hear, it is randomly modulating that note. Fantastic. Now, if you want to output this as audio, all you need to do is loop it for however long you would like and simply bounce in place. You're going to get a completely random sequence. It's going to be different every time you bounce. And there we go. Here is my randomly outputted MIDI audio. Fantastic, some generative fun going on there. Now, if you want to capture the MIDI, uh, unfortunately, that's a very difficult process in Logic as well. The only way I've worked out how to do it so far is to use Audio CR's MIDI Effects Freeze. So right-click in DDMF, load up MIDI Effects Freeze as a plugin, and route your MIDI from each of your instances of pigments over to MIDI Effects Freeze. Now this, when you double click it, just brings up a record button. So all you're doing is you are arming MIDI Effects Freeze and then press play. MIDI Effects Freeze should capture all of the MIDI that's coming through. It'll go red, it'll show you a hand, it'll show you some MIDI notes to let you know that that's all playing through. So that's fine, we're happy with that. Now once you press stop, all you need to do is click on the MIDI and drag that into Logic. And don't import tempo, don't worry about any of that. There you have your MIDI output to this absolutely horrible Steinway grand piano sound. But you can, of course, now apply whatever plugin you would like to make it sound delightful to your taste. So that's it from me. Uh, my first tutorial. I'm sure, sorry if I rushed through anything. Uh, let me know how I did in the comments down below. I hope this helped. 
and uh, have a great day. Cheers. Bye.